In these problems, we are trying to identify which functions are even and which are odd, and of course some functions are neither. And there are two ways to do this. One is with their properties and a little bit of algebra. An even function, a function is even if f of x, the function itself, is the same as f of negative x. Let me show you an example. If I have um, f of x equals x squared, if I put in a 2, f of 2 equals 4. If I put in a negative 2, that equals 4. So the function equals f of negative x. So that's an even function. And f of x equals x squared is even. f of x equals x to the fourth is even. Any polynomial that only has even powers of x is going to be an even function. Um, and let's see, another example would be f of x equals the cosine of x. That is an even function. An odd function is if negative f of x equals f of negative x. So you take the whole function, you put a negative sign in front of it, and then you uh, evaluate the function at negative x and see if they're the same. So let's take a look at these first of all f of x equals 5x squared plus 5. To me, I would suspect that's even. And the question is asking us to find an odd function. So I probably wouldn't test that one first. This next one, uh, not sure what to think about it, the absolute value of 5x plus 1 and then minus 5. Well, let's look at the, the mother function for absolute value. Just y equals the absolute value of x looks like that. And that is a very similar in its symmetry to a parabola, and this is a clue that they're both even functions. So f of x equals the absolute value of x is an even function because it has symmetry over the y-axis, and that's a property of all even functions. So this one I wouldn't test first either because it looks like it might be even or maybe neither. This one I'm not sure. It has an even power down here, an odd power up here, but this one has all even power, so I would think that's probably even. So let's try this one. We want to test to see if it's odd. So what I'm going to do is take negative of the whole function, so negative 5x cubed over 5x squared minus 2, and set it equal to f of negative x. So what I do to make f of negative x is I put in a negative x in place of x. So this is 5 times negative x to the third power over 5 times negative x to the second power, and then our minus 2. So let's do a little bit of um, math here. Now this minus sign, it either goes in on the top or the bottom. If I bring it in on the top, it just changes that sign. If I bring it in on the bottom, I'd have to change both the signs on the bottom. So I'm just going to bring it in on the top. So I've got negative 5x cubed over 5x squared minus 2. And here, well, x, negative x cubed, when you, it, a negative sign is raised to an odd power, you keep the negative sign. So that's 5 times a negative x cubed, or negative 5x cubed. And then down here, a negative sign raised to an even power becomes a positive sign. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this becomes 5x squared. And then we have our minus 2. And what you'll notice is these are exactly the same. So this function is indeed odd. All right. So that's the algebraic way. There's another way to recognize odd and even functions. The second way to determine whether a function is even or odd is by its symmetry. And sometimes you can tell it just by looking at the graph. So an odd function is symmetric about the origin. So if you were to take a function and spin it around 180 degrees uh, around the origin, it would look like the same thing. And Actually, we have one of these right here, this shape right there. If you spun that around the origin 180 degrees, you would get exactly the same thing. An even function is symmetric about the y-axis. So flip that function over the y-axis, and it looks the same on either side. So this one's odd. And we have one of those right here. So that kind of W shape. If you flip it over the y-axis, you've got the same shape on either side, the mirror image. So this is an even function. This one is symmetric about the x-axis, but we don't really care about that because that doesn't make it either uh, even or odd. So this one's neither. And this one doesn't really have um, symmetry about either the axes 
axes or the origin. So this would be neither as well. So that's a little bit of work with odd and even functions and their symmetry. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.